Here are some great tips on how to ensure that your high heels fit correctly. For a closed toe shoe or a pump, you want to start with what's called the heel counter. Ensuring that the heel counter properly fits and encases the back of the heel will prevent that heel from slipping out as you walk. As we look at the front of the shoe, you want to be very aware of the shape and the size of that toe box. If a shoe is too small and it puts excess pressure on the toes of the foot, this can lead to painful hammer toes, corns, and blisters. If the toe box is too big, you then risk again slipping out of the shoe and getting excess friction, which will cause blisters. One of the biggest mistakes that I see women make is they purchase shoes that are too large. They have a gap between the leg and the shoe which increases the risk of slipping out and getting friction blisters. When properly fitting a sling back or an open back heel, you want to pay special attention to the back of the shoe and where your foot placement is. A shoe that is too large will have too much space between the heel and the back of the shoe. If the shoe is too small, you run the risk of your foot actually hanging off the back of the shoe. When fitting the front of a sling back or open toe shoe, follow the same guidelines. Ensure that the front of the foot is not too small, which will put pressure on the toes, creating corns, calluses, and hammer toes, and also make sure it's not too big, which then you run the risk of slipping out of the shoe. For a shoe like this with the open toe box, proper shoe size is very important so that the front of the toes don't hang off the shoe.